Hindi raw magre-resign si Ombudsman Merceditas Gutierrez. Yan ang sagot niya sa hamon ng palasyong pag-isipan na niya ang mga susunod na hakbang. Kahapon, nagsimula na uling gumulong ang impeachment proceedings laban sa Ombudsman. Kailangan na one-third vote ng lahat ng miyembro ng Kamara para matransmit sa Senado ang impeachment complaint para sa isang full-blown trial. Sa ngayon, wala raw balak humarap si Gutierrez sa impeachment hearing. May mga natatanggap na raw siya ng death threat. Pero sabi niya, di raw siya natatakot sa mga ito. Hihintayin daw niya ang desisyon ng Korte Suprema kaugnay sa kanyang motion for reconsideration. I will stick to my uh, to my position that I have not done anything wrong. And if I resign, that will be an admission that I have done uh, that I have, that these accusations are true. At ang importante naman eh, I will uh, be vindicated for all this. That's why I'm fighting to clear my name. May sapat na basehan o sufficient grounds. Yan ang resulta ng botohan sa House Committee on Justice sa dalawang impeachment complaint laban kay Ombudsman Merceditas Gutierrez. Ang tugon ng kampo ni Gutierrez sa isyong yan, ating alamin mula mismo sa kanyang legal counsel, magandang umaga po Justice Serafin Cuevas. Magandang umaga po sa inyong dalawa at magandang umaga rin po sa tumutunghay sa palatuntunan ito. Okay, Justice, hmm. Justice Cuevas, ngayong gumugulong, gumugulong na po yung impeachment case, wala na ho ba talagang uh, chance na pumunta or dumalo sa hearing sa Kamara si Ombudsman Gutierrez? In our previous conference, at saka yung malaon uh, ng pagtalakay ng mga issue na ito, we have arrived at the conclusion with her mm -hmm. that probably there will be no necessity in appearing personally before the Committee on Justice of the mm -hmm. House of Representatives. And the reason is, the tyranny of number is decidedly against us. Eh. So what is it that we can get from the House of Representatives? So ultimately, they will probably come up with a resolution of impeachment, uh, articles of impeachment, and probably endorse it to the uh, Senate. There is where we will fight it out So already. parang tinanggap nyo na po na they will pass the uh, articles of impeachment? Well, the way, the way proceed, we cannot close our eyes to the occurrences that are taking place now before the House of Representatives. Wala kahit na anong argumento, kahit na ano pang rason, kahit na anong jurisprudence ang ilabas, hindi na rin nila pinakikinggan. All that the presiding officer will do is, well, let's submit it to the vote. And the moment it is submitted to the vote, talo na po si Gutierrez. So you've given Ombudsman. up trying to convince the <laughs> yung mga pro-impeachment sa House? Uh, well, uh, we will probably appear, but not Gutierrez. Mm -hmm. in the succeeding proceedings whereby we probably will uh, and will uh, conduct cross examination of the witnesses for the complainant mm -hmm. now you will notice that uh, masyado pong dihado na kami dito eh mm -hmm. yung yung sinil tupas we have been raising his competency as a congressman tupas i would say pardon me na huwag siyang magpreside dahil that is one of the grounds of violation of due process on the part of the right of the Ombudsman. Mm -hmm. Meron pong kaso na inaharap si Ombudsman Gutierrez laban sa kanyang ama. It's now pending, dismissal, suspension. Siya man po, meron ding kaso laban sa kanya. Eh, paano natin maasahan? Human, human experience dictate and clear conscience dictate na huwag ka na mag-participate dito. Sinabi niya, he will not vote. Yeah, but just the same. He is the presiding officer. Wala na ho bang pwede mag-preside doon kung hindi siya na lang. Mm -hmm. There are several uh, deputy, deputy mm -hmm. chairman or vice chairman. Mm -hmm. why, why, why can they not be allowed to handle the task mm -hmm. of presiding over the... Uh, Pero Justice, that, uh, that's kind of water under the bridge. Nandiyan na si Chairman uh, Tupas. Opa, opa. So uh, the, mukhang the odds are against your client. Well, this is, one of the, this is one of the grounds we raised in the motion for reconsideration. Mm -hmm. okay. We were insistent on the violation of the, of the due process clause against the against uh, Ombudsman uh, Gutierrez. So kung hindi na kayo hopeful sa Kamara, hopeful pa po ba kayo sa Korte Suprema because you filed a motion for reconsideration? Oh yes, we, we still hope that the Supreme Court will resolve our motion favorably. Mm -hmm. Even on this, because you will notice that uh, sa dissenting opinion, meron pong lima eh. Mm -hmm. Si Justice uh, uh, 
Brion, mm -hmm. concurred in by the Chief Justice, by, the, by Justice De Castro, by Justice uh, Peralta, and by Justice Bersamin. So, five votes na po yan. They declared that the proceedings conducted mm -hmm. by, the, by, the, by the committee is null and void because of the violation of the rule on Jupra. There was no published mm -hmm. rules of procedure. Mm -hmm. Bakit naman po nagmamadali? Mm -hmm. so, Justice, balikan lang natin sandali yung mga impeachment complaint. No? Okay. Kasi sinasabi ng mga complainant na halos inutil daw ang ombudsman sa mga corruption cases ng dating administrasyong Arroyo. Right. Uh, anong masasabi nyo doon? Uh, yung pong kaso laban kay Presidente at sa kanyang asawa, yung sa CTNS1, had been, had been nag-inhibit na po siya si Justice Gutierrez. Eh. Nag-create mm -hmm. na siya ng committee na siyang mag-iimbestigan niyan. Para nga po huwag masabi na siya ay pabor o ganito. Mm -hmm. Now, in, yun namang ibang kaso, iniimbestigahan pa ngayon. Oh, pero Ganun po ba talaga oh, katagal? Eh, hindi po naman. Eh, so, wala pang convictions, no? Yeah, oo. Oh, eh, yung, wala, pa, wala, pang, wala pang information sa sandigang bayan. Hindi po po magkakaroon ng conviction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Resignation. Marami pong nagtatawag for um, siguro po Secretary. Siguro po, yari na ang conclusion ng kagalang-galang ng ombudsman na hindi siya magre-resign. And my advice is also, huwag siya magre-resign. Let's fight it out. If the court in finally... The Senate, de opo, in the Senate or in the... Not in the House. Kung po, hindi naman natatapos ang impeachment sa House eh. Mm -mm. After the investigation or the proceedings mm -mm. in the House, gagawa sila ng kung halimbawa report mm -mm. and that will be deliberated upon in plenary. Mm -mm. If the plenary sustain the report, mm -mm. which is the piling of the impeachment, mm -mm. tutuloy po yan sa Senado. Mm -hmm. Pero kung hindi po makuha yung one-third vote mm -hmm. ng entire uh, uh, House of Representatives, madidismiss po yan. And that will be taken up also. The report will be taken up in plenary. And the House of Representatives as a body will act on it, whether to agree with it or to disagree or reverse it. Mm -hmm. Marami kasi nagsasabi, kaya dapat siguro mag-resign dahil why drag the entire country and the entire Congress into such a long, uh, distracting eh, process? That will, that will serve as a bad precedent. Mm -hmm. Dahil hindi, naman, hindi po naman natin maasahan na ang lahat ng tao masisihan sa gagawing desisyon o hato ng ombudsman. Mm -hmm. Similarly, a judge, siyempre, Merong popular na judge, meron namang galit ng tao, pero wala, kung wala namang, wala namang katotohanan yung charges, bakit naman kayo magre-resign? That is cowardice. Mm -hmm. And that is not, eh, the, when, when one accepts a position in, in a public office, he's bound, not only as a prerogative, but as a duty to discharge the powers and duties of that office. Mm -hmm. And not withstanding all the charges. Eh kung halimbawa sinabing ganito, magre-resign ka na, di para bang inamin mo na talaga totoo lahat yan. You will notice if you examine the two complaints, that one by the Honorable Just uh, Ontiveros and mm -hmm. also by Reyes, wala pong grap and corruption dyan eh. Tingnan ninyo mabuti, walang binabanggit na grap and corruption. Ang sinasabi po lang, delay and inaction in the said cases. But the inaction or the delay cannot be avoided dahil proceedings po yan eh. E di siya sana magpahal sila ng kwan, motion to ex expedite or early resolution. Similar to what we had been filing with the Supreme Court, kung nararamdaman naming masyadong matagal na, na hindi na pagpapasyahan. So sa tingin niyo po, kung sakali po ah, na Opa. mapunta po sa Senado to at magkaroon po talaga ng full-blown impeachment Opa. trial, are you hopeful that you have the numbers in the Senate or that your client will Alam po have a good fighting chance in the Alam, Senate? Uh, we the will have a better Senate. fighting chance in the Senate than in the House of Representatives. Bakit uh, po? Eh kasi po maraming independent-minded dyan eh sa Senate. They mm -hmm. may not be under the thumb of the administration and they may not be beholden to Malacanian. Mm -hmm. that's, our, that's our only hope and prayer that mm -hmm. they stand on their... Uh, and let's see what, the law, what is the evidence and the law on the matter. Mm -hmm. Now, being satisfied with the correct procedure being undertaken, eh, we have no other alternative. Kung sinabi na ko, ah, guilty ka, eh, ano pang gagawin po namin? Hindi naman namin kaya magrevolusyon katulad sa Libya at sa Egypt. <laughs> on, on that note, maraming Opo. salamat po, Justice okay. Maraming Cuevas. maraming salamat din po sa pagkakato ang binigay ninyo. Thank you very Opo. much. Thank you again. Susunod. Yeah, ang latest sa ongoing impeachment hearing laban kay Ombudsman Gutierrez. At stake na tokwa pa... Panalo kaya ang lasa mamaya yan sa Eat and Run? Yan ang iba pang balita at impormasyon sa pagbabalik ng News to Go.